We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The Apollo 11 mission stands as one of humanity's most monumental events, marking our inaugural journey to the moon and heralding a new era of scientific and technological advancement. It could honestly be said that this was the culmination of the dreams and fantasies. Yet, since that historic lunar landing, controversies regarding its authenticity and the individuals involved have persisted. There are videos that look 100% fake. Some claim that certain videos appear entirely fabricated. While these notions may seem like fringe conspiracy theories, there exists evidence challenging our conventional understanding of the moon and its exploration. Recent footage has surfaced featuring an astronaut intimately linked to Apollo 11, sharing intriguing insights about their experiences. In this video, we delve into the facts, unraveling one of our world's enduring mysteries. The space race's genesis traces back to humanity's long-standing fascination with the moon. Its gravitational influence, tides, and cosmic significance have captivated us for centuries. However, our desire to intimately engage with it grew exponentially after World War II, catalyzing a fierce global competition between the United States and the Soviet Union. This rivalry encompassed diverse realms such as economics, culture, and notably, military and space exploration. Yuri Gagarin's historic journey into space in 1961 fueled this race, propelling both nations into an intense competition for supremacy beyond Earth's atmosphere. In 1969, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins achieved the impossible with Apollo 11's lunar landing, a monumental feat that showcased humanity's readiness to explore the cosmos. Armstrong famously described it as one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, encapsulating the significance of their mission. Today, Armstrong and Aldrin are celebrated figures in schools and popular culture, rightly recognized for their daring and pioneering spirit. However, Michael Collins, the third member of the Apollo 11 crew, often receives less attention despite his crucial role. Born in Rome in 1930 to a U.S. military family, Collins followed in his father's and brother's footsteps by joining the Air Force. His exceptional skills led to his selection as part of NASA's third astronaut group in 1963, eventually leading to his participation in the Apollo 11 mission. During the mission, Collins piloted the command module while Armstrong and Aldrin operated the lunar module, named Eagle, during their historic descent to the moon's surface. On July 12, 1969, the lunar module Eagle landed on the moon, marking a historic moment for humanity's exploration of space. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin emerged from Eagle, becoming immortalized figures in history books and symbolizing a new chapter for mankind. Meanwhile, Michael Collins remained in the main craft, guiding it through its command module. During their approximately two-hour stay on the lunar surface, Armstrong and Aldrin conducted experiments, collected moon rock samples, and planted the American flag. They also had a historic conversation with President Nixon, broadcasted for all to hear. However, Collins's vital role in piloting the command module often goes overlooked. Despite the opportunity to step foot on the moon, Collins prioritized his duty, ensuring the spacecraft's stability and readiness for the return journey. Upon reuniting with Collins in the main craft, Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins embarked on their voyage back to Earth. On July 24th, they successfully splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, concluding their remarkable journey. The crew of Apollo 11 received global acclaim and admiration, particularly in the United States, for their pioneering achievement in space exploration. Their achievement marked the realization of a centuries-old dream shared by numerous scientists and visionaries to venture to the moon and traverse the celestial expanse. Michael Collins, often referred to as the critical astronaut, played an indispensable role despite not receiving as much recognition as his fellow crewmates. His responsibilities were paramount. Without him, 
Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin would have been stranded in space after completing their tasks on the moon's surface. Michael's contributions were akin to those unsung heroes who worked tirelessly behind the scenes. He served as the backbone of the entire Apollo 11 operation, ensuring its success and preventing what could have been a catastrophic failure. Despite the lack of spotlight, Michael did receive noteworthy accolades. He was among the privileged 24 individuals to journey to the moon as part of Apollo 11, becoming the fourth person and third American to perform a spacewalk. Notably, he was the first to conduct more than one spacewalk and the second person to orbit the moon solo. Following his retirement from NASA in 1970, Michael Collins continued his illustrious career in public service, serving as the Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs in the Department of State. His contributions to space exploration and diplomatic endeavors stand as enduring testaments to his remarkable legacy. A year later, Michael Collins assumed the position of director at the National Air and Space Museum, showcasing his continued dedication to advancing space exploration and education. His career trajectory further elevated when he became the undersecretary of the Smithsonian Institution in 1978. However, he resigned from this role in 1985 to establish his consulting firm, transitioning into the realm of private practice. When discussing the Apollo 11 mission, the spotlight often gravitates towards Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, understandably so, given their historic moonwalk and widespread acclaim. Yet, an intriguing aspect that often remains overlooked is Michael Collins' pivotal role. As previously mentioned, Collins found himself alone in space aboard the main spacecraft while Armstrong and Aldrin explored the lunar surface in the Eagle module. However, his responsibilities extended far beyond mere observation. Michael Collins was not a passive participant in the mission. His duties were multifaceted and critical to its success. Michael Collins played a pivotal role in ensuring the success of the Apollo 11 mission. His primary responsibility was to maintain the trajectory and course of the main spacecraft while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin explored the moon's surface. Unlike modern spacecraft with advanced autopilot systems, Collins had to manually adjust the ship's orbit and trajectory, requiring utmost attentiveness and precision. Collins also maintained constant communication with the command center on Earth, serving as the crucial link between the lunar module and mission control. His role was essential in sustaining seamless two-way communication, allowing for real-time updates and coordination between the lunar exploration team and ground control. In essence, Michael Collins acted as the linchpin that connected the lunar mission with Earth, ensuring that everyone remained aligned and informed throughout the historic journey. His sharpness, alertness, and dedication were instrumental in the overall success of the Apollo 11 mission. Michael Collins's role in the Apollo 11 mission extended far beyond being a mere driver. Spending approximately 21 hours alone in the command module while his colleagues explored the lunar surface, Collins faced the solitude of space with remarkable composure. While some might assume this isolation would be unnerving, Collins found it to be a calming experience, offering him time for introspection and contemplation of his place in the vast universe. Despite the tranquility, Collins understood the critical nature of his task. He maintained constant communication with Earth, ensuring that any issues could be swiftly addressed. His confidence in managing potential challenges underscored the significance of his role. Collins wasn't just Armstrong and Aldrin's ride back home. He was the linchpin that ensured the mission's success. As Collins himself acknowledged, without his vital contributions, the triumphant return of Armstrong and Aldrin from the moon's surface would not have been possible. In a humorous analogy, Collins likened his role to being the astronaut's ride back home, highlighting the indispensability of his presence during this historic endeavor. After all, in the vastness of space, calling an Uber would certainly be an impossible feat, the dark side of the moon. After the Apollo 11 mission, significant strides were made in space exploration and research, leading to subsequent lunar missions and the establishment of the International Space Station in 1998. However, there's a prevailing sentiment that these advancements wouldn't have been possible without the success of Apollo 11's historic voyage. Yet, history also unveils a secretive aspect of space and lunar travel that often goes overlooked. 
Until Michael Collins revealed certain facts before his passing in 2021, the true nature and implications of these hidden truths remained shrouded in mystery. Now, some of these revelations are beginning to surface, shedding light on a lesser known and peculiar reality about the moon. The dark side of the moon, figuratively speaking, that holds untold secrets and surprises for humanity's continued exploration of space. The area on the far side of the moon, often referred to as its dark side, is of particular interest to space enthusiasts. Unlike its name suggests, this side of the moon does receive sunlight like any other part, but has unique characteristics that set it apart. While much exploration has focused on the near side, the dark side has remained relatively unexplored. One intriguing aspect of the dark side is its shielding from radio signals that originate from or are sent back to Earth. This shielding occurs due to the moon's rotational movement relative to Earth. This characteristic makes the dark side an ideal location for radio astronomy and unobstructed space exploration activities. The absence of terrestrial interference makes it an optimal spot for anyone looking to conduct exploration or research without signal disruptions. Photos captured and shared with us depict the dark side of the moon as markedly distinct from its near side. This region exhibits a higher concentration of craters and a rugged terrain, contrasting with the smoother appearance of the nearer side. Notably, the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the moon's prominent impact craters, is situated on the dark side, adding to its topographical significance. The dark side of the moon provides invaluable insights into lunar history and the processes that shaped it over time. Its geological features and ancient impact sites offer a glimpse into the moon's formative years and contribute to our understanding of both lunar evolution and broader solar system dynamics. Researchers have leveraged studies of this region to deepen their knowledge of cratering processes and the overall history of the moon and our solar system. Many experts view the dark side of the moon as a focal point for future exploration and research, particularly concerning the moon's origins and its role within the solar system. Initiatives like NASA's Artemis program aim to delve deeper into the mysteries of the dark side, uncovering its intricacies and expanding our knowledge of lunar science. These efforts represent a concerted push to unlock the secrets held by this enigmatic region of our celestial neighbor. It seems like Michael Collins had an unexpected experience during the Apollo 11 mission. Reports suggest that while waiting for Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to return to the main spacecraft, Michael inadvertently ventured into the dark side of the moon. This move resulted in a complete cutoff of communication with the outside world and his command center on Earth, highlighting the dark side's ability to block radio signals. This incident with Michael was one of the earliest instances of radio silence, a phenomenon where communication becomes impossible. Fortunately, Michael eventually exited the dark side, expressing immense relief at re-establishing communication with Earth. Meanwhile, developments regarding the dark side of the moon continue. In 2019, the China National Space Administration launched the Chang's 4 program, which successfully landed a probe in the dark side's von Karman crater within the South Pole Aitken Basin. This achievement marked the first soft landing in this region, paving the way for further exploration and study of this intriguing lunar area. The Chinese researchers accompanying the change Four mission deployed a U-22 rover to analyze the terrain and composition of the moon's dark side. Equipped with scientific instruments and ground-penetrating radar technology, the rover aimed to explore possible subsurface structures. In 2021, reports emerged that the U-22 rover had discovered a mysterious object while traversing the von Karman crater, described as a cube-shaped figure approximately 260 feet away from the rover, the object was dubbed a Mystery Hut by Our Space, a Chinese science outreach channel affiliated with the China National Space Administration. However, experts caution that this label might have been a placeholder rather than an accurate description of the object. Speculations abound regarding the nature of this mystery object. Some believe it could be debris left behind from an impact event on the dark side of the moon. However, Little information has been released since the initial report, leaving the true identity of the object a mystery. 
As with any new discovery in space exploration, skepticism and curiosity are natural, prompting questions about the authenticity of findings and the potential for groundbreaking revelations. It's intriguing to explore the various mysteries and controversies surrounding the moon landing and the Apollo 11 mission, including aspects tied to Michael Collins. One such intriguing topic emerged in 2018 when Joe Rogan, renowned for his popular podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, discussed a controversial image related to the moon landing with Ben Askren, a former mixed martial arts fighter. During the podcast, Joe Rogan presented an image of Michael Collins from his 1974 book, Carrying the Fire. What makes this image particularly intriguing is that it appears unique and cannot be easily found elsewhere. Some viewers of this image have speculated that it may have been fabricated, with the claim being that Michael Collins was not actually standing on the moon, but in a black room with a digitally altered background to simulate space. Such claims about the authenticity of certain images from the Apollo 11 mission have circulated for years, fueling debates and skepticism about the moon landing. While these discussions and theories add layers of complexity to our understanding of historic events, they also underscore the ongoing fascination and scrutiny surrounding one of humanity's greatest achievements in space exploration. The debate surrounding the authenticity of certain images from the Apollo 11 mission continues to intrigue many, with the image of Michael Collins being a focal point of discussion. Despite speculation and skepticism, NASA has not officially acknowledged the picture as fake. However, some individuals have noted similarities between this image and another purportedly taken during a training exercise before the mission. The alleged space image appears more blurred and darkened compared to its training counterpart. In addition to image discrepancies, Skeptics of the moon landing have raised concerns about the feasibility of creating flawless footage in space. Some argue that factors like cosmic radiation would likely affect camera film, potentially resulting in distorted or degraded images. Yet, the picture in question appears relatively clear, albeit with some blurriness, without visible signs of radiation interference. These discussions highlight the complexities and controversies surrounding the historic moon landing inviting scrutiny and analysis of photographic evidence and technical aspects of space exploration. As debates persist, the quest for truth and understanding continues to captivate both skeptics and believers alike. The mystery surrounding the authenticity of certain images from the Apollo 11 mission is compounded by the uncertainty surrounding the equipment used and the specific roles of the astronauts. It's plausible that astronauts utilized specially designed cameras capable of capturing high-quality footage in space. However, the lack of concrete information makes it challenging to definitively verify or dismiss these claims. One aspect that has raised eyebrows is the depiction of Michael Collins walking on the moon in the disputed image. Official accounts state that Collins remained in the main spacecraft, while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin conducted the moonwalk and planted the American flag. Collins' role primarily involved piloting the main craft and ensuring a safe return for the crew. The discrepancy between the image and the official narrative adds another layer of intrigue to the ongoing debate about the moon landing and the authenticity of related images. It underscores the complexity of historical events and the varying perspectives and interpretations that continue to shape our understanding of these monumental achievements in space exploration. It's true that NASA acknowledged erasing and reusing some original footage of the moon landing in 2006, citing cost-cutting reasons. Approximately 200,000 tapes were magnetically cleaned and repurposed. While edited footage and images were re-released in 2009, the knowledge of this tampering diminished their credibility despite appearing clearer. However, the aftermath of the Apollo 11 mission is equally captivating. The astronauts became instant global celebrities upon their return to Earth. A massive media blitz ensued as they traveled to various countries, sharing tales of their heroic mission and the remarkable achievement of landing on the moon. Their daring feat captured the world's imagination, solidifying their status as icons of space exploration and human ingenuity. The aftermath of the Apollo 11 mission included a goodwill trip to the Netherlands, where the astronauts, accompanied by then-U.S. Ambassador J. William Middendorf, 
met Dutch Prime Minister Willem Dries and presented him with what was supposed to be a piece of moon rock. However, in 2009, the Dutch National Museum revealed that the rock was not a moon rock, but a piece of petrified wood. This revelation caused a stir, with geologist Frank Boink confirming the rock's terrestrial origin and lack of value as a space artifact. Ambassador Middendorf, seeking to clear his name, explained that the rock was given to him by the State Department, and he was unaware of its true nature. His response mirrored Shaggy's famous line, It wasn't me, as he shifted responsibility to the State Department for the mix-up. This incident added an unexpected twist to the legacy of the moon landing, showcasing the complexities and occasional mishaps that can occur even in historic events. The incident with the fake moon rock raises questions about the motives behind such deception. It seems perplexing why the State Department would choose to present a piece of petrified wood as a moon rock during such a significant event. The goodwill trip to the Netherlands was already a substantial occasion, so the inclusion of a fake artifact appears unnecessary and potentially insulting to the Dutch people. Furthermore, the revelation of the fake moon rock raises concerns about whether other countries or individuals received similar misrepresented artifacts. This incident has fueled skepticism among those who already doubted the authenticity of the moon landing, intensifying their claims that there may be hidden agendas or aspects to the mission that remain undisclosed. While there may be legitimate explanations or misunderstandings behind such incidents, the overall perception is certainly not favorable for NASA or the astronauts involved. It underscores the importance of transparency and accuracy in historical events, especially those as significant as the Apollo 11 mission, to maintain trust and credibility. The mystery and intrigue surrounding the moon landing are enduring, captivating the imagination of people worldwide. The sheer scale and significance of this historic event ensure that questions and speculations will persist for years to come. Did Michael Collins truly witness something enigmatic on the dark side of the moon, or was it all part of an elaborate staging? Only time and further exploration may shed light on these mysteries. What are your thoughts on this topic? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below.